After connecting the IP speaker to a PoE switch from a computer or laptop, open the EasyTools software to find the IP speaker's IP address. From the list you can find the IP address. Make sure to tick the All box to display all IP addresses. If you have multiple devices within the same network range, you can search for the model number in this box. Once you find your device, click on the E icon called Remote Web to log into the device from a browser. Now enter the IP speaker's username and password. The default username is admin, and the default password is 123456. Click on Login. Now you can create a new password. The email address is optional, but it is recommended in case you forget the password in the future. Click on OK. Here you can change the device name, but this is optional. Under the Audio tab you can adjust the volume if needed. By clicking on Audio File, you can check pre-recorded audio or upload your own audio. To upload an audio file, simply click on Batch Import. Select the audio file you want to upload. Now let's go to the NVR to assign the IP speaker to a camera and test it in action. Untick other boxes from here and filter for NVR. You can filter the list to show only NVR and open it in the browser. Now enter the NVR username and password. After logging in, click on Setup at the top to add the IP speaker to the system. From the left menu, click on Peripheral. You can manually add the IP speaker by clicking Add. Or you can use Auto Search. Copy the IP speaker address. Paste the address into the IP address field. and enter the username and password of the IP speaker. Click Save to add the IP speaker. After a few seconds, click Refresh to check the device status. There you go. Now let's add the IP speaker to a camera. Click on Smart. Select the camera to which you want to assign the IP speaker. Enable Intrusion Detection and click on the Settings icon. Draw the detection area. Click Save to confirm the detection area. Select your detection type. Here I have chosen a human body. Click Save again to confirm the settings. Select the arming schedule and verify your arming time. Here I have set it to 24-7 Monday to Sunday. To enable sound alerts from the IP speaker, select Alarm Sound and click on Settings. Choose the IP speaker and select your desired sound. Here I have selected the welcome sound. You can set the number of times the alert sound should play. I have set it to 1 so the sound will play once. Click OK to save. Click save to apply the action settings. Now let's test the IP speaker. Click on live view. Select the camera. Open it in single frame mode and select mainstream to see a larger video. Here you can see that the camera detected a human body and triggered an alert from the IP speaker. Let's run a real-time test and find out how this works out. Welcome to the training. 